Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's review of the Monimoto 9 Bike Tracker. This is the latest incarnation of Monimoto's easy to install, easy to use tracking device, which is watching over your bike in case someone takes more than a shine to it. The Monimoto 9 involves a relatively low outlay. It's £149 to buy as we record this and an annual subscription of £36 that kicks in after a free two month starter period. It's easy to fit yourself, so there are no installation costs. And after four months of experience with this unit, I can personally say it works very well. If you're wondering how a tracker can help you, there's a fairly well established pattern in many bike thefts. After nicking a bike, thieves will leave it in a public place and they'll wait a while to see if anyone turns up to retrieve it. That's their way of finding out if a bike is fitted with a tracker as they really don't want their work location being discovered. So if this happens to your bike, you can tell the police where it is and hopefully get it back. There are two main components. The tracking unit itself goes in a discrete location on the bike and the other component is the key fob, which you keep on you personally. That's how the tracker knows if a bike movement is legit. If the fob is within range of the unit when you move the bike, then happy days. The tracker detects the fob and it knows that it's you who's doing the moving. If that fob isn't nearby, then Monimoto knows something's up and it calls you to warn you that your bike is on the move. It's pretty sensitive and just taking the bike off the side stand is enough to wake up the Monimoto. Your Monimoto device. Your Monimoto device is now in alarm. If you did not trigger the alarm, please check your Monimoto application and your motorcycle or another protected asset. Installation is easy and it's covered with simple effective instructions. It also comes with reusable cable ties or you could buy some strong velcro and use that to attach the tracker to a flat surface on the bike. You want it to be somewhere where a thief won't spot it so you should definitely avoid putting it under the seat as any half sharp thief is definitely going to find it there. The instructions for setting the unit up and connecting it to your phone are just as simple and once you've done that Monimoto suggests testing the unit to make sure it's working properly. To do that you leave the fob at home, you ride off and wait for an automated phone call to alert you to the movement. Through the Monimoto phone app, they'll tell you where it thinks the bike is. If that's where it actually is, then great, you're all set up, good to go, the test has been successful. If it's a little bit inaccurate in its location, then Monimoto suggests moving the unit to a different location on the bike to try and get a stronger signal and then repeating the test. Once you've got this right and you're happy, then you can leave Monimoto to keep an eye on your bike. If you just make sure you've got your fob with you every time you move your own bike, then everything from that point will be fine. If something does happen, then Monimoto tries to locate the bike first using GPS if that's not possible because the bike's in a van or a building, for example, then it resorts to a technology called LTEM. That's a communication method that's developed to allow machines to communicate without drawing much power from their batteries. The Monimoto can also use Wi-Fi networks if there's one of those nearby to help locate the bike. We fitted a Monimoto 9 to my partner Helen's Honda CB750 Hornet. Installation and setup was very easy and it worked well on our initial test to check that everything was working as it should be. The warning call came through very quickly when the bike moved and the track location was very accurate. Since then, it sent Helen daily updates on the status of the unit and that reassures her that the unit is still working as it should. It doesn't give daily updates on the location. It works on the basis that no unauthorized movements means the bike is still where you left it. Keeping location searches like that to a minimum helps the battery on the unit last longer. If you want a daily update to say where your bike is, you can set it to do that. It just means you'll be recharging the unit more frequently. And that can be awkward if you've mounted it somewhere deep inside the bike. There's no regular update on the exact amount of charge in the battery. The daily update will tell you the battery is okay. Then it gives you a warning when the charge level on the unit drops to 20% of capacity and that gives you time to recharge the unit through the USB-C port. That port's protected by a rubber grommet and that helps it stay weatherproof to a rating of IP68. Monimoto suggests you might only need to recharge this annually. I think that is possible if everything runs smoothly and you don't accidentally trigger an alarm by moving your bike without having the fob with you. But Helen and I have done that a few times between us and we also had to update the firmware as well. And that means we've had to charge the battery up after a couple of months of use. Based on our experience, I would expect to be recharging this every six months or so in relatively normal use. Having a tracker on her bike has given Helen a lot of peace of mind and it's given her an added layer of protection over the physical security she uses to keep her bike safe. Now there are more sophisticated trackers out there on the market. Some of those have dedicated call centers and tracking teams who help you get your bike back. 
That sort of service is on another level than you get from Monimoto, and the same can be said of the price. Those units require a bigger outlay, they require professional installation, and there are higher subscription fees to have access to those teams of people. This is a more informal style of tracker that's more about alerting you to a problem and giving you the information you need to help get your own bike back. Unlike some similar units, this is all about helping in the event of a theft. It won't tell you where you've ridden. It won't tell you your average speed, your highest speed, and how far you were above sea level. It won't share your route on social media so your friends can see where you've been. In short, it won't annoy the crap out of you. It'll just sit on your bike, poised and ready to help you out if someone else decides they're gonna mess with your bike. As I said, it's easy to install, it's easy to set up, it's also easy to use. You just keep your fob with you, and the Monimoto unit will stay out of your hair until you need it. If you value your bike, then I think a Monimoto 9 is a simple and effective way of helping to protect it. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Monimoto 9 tracker, but if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.